I want to really dive into your deep knowledge of Vladimir Putin, if we can. Tell me a little bit about what you think his long-term agenda has been. And, and then I'm going to ask you another question that readers ask me all the time, which is, you know, why did Putin invade now under Biden and why didn't he under former President Trump? Yeah. So Putin, you know, this is the $55 million question. Uh, you know, what does he really want? But I think he has um, indicated what he really wants over time, over the last 20 years that he's, uh, 20 plus years that he's been in power. And he has um, done that through both his um, speeches, his writings, and his actions. Uh, so uh, I, his, I think he does want to control Ukraine. That is very, very clear. He has an obsession with Ukraine. And um, I think now he wants to make Ukraine part of um, the Russian empire, part of the Soviet Union, however one looks at it. I think these are legacy matters for him now. Uh, and uh, he is doing his best to make that happen, although clearly he miscalculated. The Russian military is not nearly as capable as um, presumably he had thought. Um, so I think partly it's about Ukraine, partly it's about expanding even further because he has, you know, the day that he um, announced the attack on Ukraine, uh, or I should say the special <laughs> special military operations since to this day, even though we can all see what is happening in Ukraine, uh, he does not acknowledge that there is a war there. And in fact, I think you know that if you say the word war in Russia, that is punishable by 15 years in prison. That is where we have come to in, in, in Russia. So I think he does want to, uh, so he has said that he feels that um, you know, many of the countries that um, the new and independent countries that uh, were established in 1991 after the Soviet Union was um, uh, uh, dissolved, uh, that he thinks, you know, some of them should come back to the fold as well. And I think more broadly, he feels that the international order, the rules-based international order that we uh, established after uh, World War II, um, enshrining certain principles like sovereignty, the inviolability of borders, um, you know, not, not attacking other countries, et cetera. Um, you know, these are good principles to live by, uh, you know, and a, a good way to um, manage the international order. But I think he feels that he, um, he can't win in, in that kind of an environment, even though uh, this order has uh, ushered in an era of unparalleled um, prosperity, unparalleled security, and uh, unparalleled freedom for uh, much of the world. Um, so I think he's doing his best to um, move the world to a might makes right uh, kind of a world. And I think that that is uh, a real uh, concern for uh, the United States um, because um, that will, that will uh, violate, uh, that, that will really, um, undermine our national security interests. It will be a more dangerous, more complicated world uh, and one uh, that, um, you know, we need to do our best um, to make sure that um, the values uh, of the post-war uh, post order um, continue rather than values, if you want to call it that, of a dictator like Putin. Mm -hmm. 